Hey there, it's Brooks here from documentsnap.com and today we're going to be talking about tagging documents on the Mac and doing that with a free tool called Tagit. So on the Mac there's a standard called OpenMeta and that is a way that different applications can all tag documents and tagging a document is just another way that you can attach some information to a, a document or any type of file and then use that information, so that tag, to find the information and organize it later. So on the Mac, a bunch of software developers got together and created this standard called OpenMeta. It was developed by a group called Ironic Software. And there's a bunch of different ways that you can tag documents, and there's a bunch of different software that you can use to do it. But what I thought I'd do is just show a free and easy way to do it with this program called Tagit. And so to, to get Tagit, you go here to ironicsoftware.com slash tag it and then you scroll down to the bottom and there's a download link here download tag it and so you just click it and it will download it it doesn't mention supporting lion uh, but i'm running lion and it works okay for me so once you've downloaded it and installed it uh, then it's time to actually start using it all right, so now that I've got Tagit installed, you can see here I'm in Applications, and I've got Tagit installed there. So I'm going to double-click it to start it. And now you can see we're pro provided right away with a window where we can search for tags, but we're not going to do that quite yet. We'll do that in a little bit. So I'm going to hit Cancel here. But you can see here on my dock that Tagit is still running, so we're going to use that. And I personally have my dock on the left. If you have it on the bottom, of course, it will be down at the bottom. So let's close this down and let's go and start working with some files. All right, so I've got a bunch of, of documents here and let's just say I happen to know that all of the, almost all of these, but not quite all of them are recipes. So let's, let's take this uh, recipe here. What I can do is if I wanna give this recipe a tag, I take the document and I drag it onto my dock and onto the tag it icon here and let go. And you can see right away that this win this tag it window pops up here and it allows me to enter some tags. And if I want to see recently entered tags, I can click that window there. I don't really care about that right now, but let's say that I want to give this document a tag of recipe. And let's say because this also has cheese, I want to give it a tag of cheese. And I'm just going to close this window down. And let's say these three documents here are three shrimp recipes. So I'm going to highlight them all, drag them down here onto the tag it window. And again, I'm going to give it the recipe tag. And you can see that since I've recently created a tag with recipe, as soon as I start typing it, it fills it in for me. So I can just hit enter. And then I want to give this one a shrimp tag. And now here in this subfolder here called soups, I've got a, a bunch of other documents as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give these three, I'm going to drag these onto here. I'm going to give it the recipe tag and I'm going to give it a soup tag and close that down. So what did this do? This gave all these documents the, at least the ones that I've chosen, certain tags or certain keywords that we can use to find them later. And so how do we do that? Well, first of all, let's say you want to see if a document has tags or you want to see what that document's tags are. You can just take the document, drag it onto the tag it icon, and you can see right away it will bring it up and show you that, that tag that you've created. Now let's say we want to take this one, this corn chowder, and this cheese apple chutney bun, and we want to drag these onto the tag it window. You can see that, if you remember, we gave both of these documents more tags, but because we're, we're dragging multiple documents that have different tags, it's only going to show us, in this case, the tags that those two documents have in common. So in this case, they both have the recipe tag, 
it's not showing the other tags and that way we could change the, the tags that apply to both of them without messing up any of their individual tags. So that's pretty handy. So let's close this window down and let's say we want to find all of the documents that have the tag recipe. So if we go here to tag it, you remember that there's a search window and so if we search tags for recipe and hit search, we should get those all those documents that we just tagged. So let's search and see what happens. And here you go. We can see now these are the documents here that we had just tagged. These are some of my old documents from 2008 that I had obviously given a recipe tag as well. But here's all of the ones that we just tagged with that word recipe. Now if we close this down and we just search for shrimp, it's only going to search, it's only going to find those, uh, those documents that we had given the shrimp tag to. Now, let's close down tag it. So I'm quitting it altogether. You can see that it's not in my doc. And one of the nice things about the open meta standard is that we don't even need to use a specific type of software in order to find our documents. So if we go up here to Spotlight, which is the built-in Mac search, and we type tag colon uh, recipe, you can see that right away it's found all of those documents that we had given the tag of recipe to without even having to use that tag it application. So that's a quick and easy way to apply tags and find tags and find documents that have tags. For more Going Paperless tips, head on over to documentsnap.com. Thanks.